Mid Journey has just released version 5 and it's a game changer. Let's jump right into it. First up, we have one of the most impressive upgrades in version 5, improved resolution. In previous versions, you had to wait Mid Journey to upscale images. Now, you don't even have to wait for upscaling images anymore. All images are now generated at their maximum resolution and quality. This also means that you don't have to spend any additional GPU minutes. However, the initial generation of these images may take slightly longer though, but they are going to be improved, higher quality, and upscaling is instant. Another key feature is improved prompting. The effects of the words and phrases used to build prompts are going to be even greater. The V5 model is going to generate a more accurate and desired output in your prompts. By making sure your prompts are specific and relevant, you are helping the model create a better understanding of your intentions and generate a more accurate output. This means including details such as genres, styles, and other things you, that you'd like to see. If you're struggling to come up with a good prompt, don't worry. We have a helpful tool called Emmy Prompt Builder that can help assist you. You can go through a list of library of selections that will help you select the genre, parameters, and everything you need to help build the best possible prompt. Moving on to improved coherency. You'll notice that in version 5, it has dramatically improved the way eyes, faces, and hands are generated. This means that the generated images are more natural and have coherent features. So if you want to include details like hand gestures, facial expressions in your prompts, Midjourney will be more likely to generate those features more accurately in the resulting images. Essentially, this feature improves the overall coherence and realism associated with these images. So these are just some of the exciting features in Midjourney's version 5. Start using Emmy Prompt Builder to create the best prompts and get the most out of Midjourney. We hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more, please let us know in the comments. Also, if you have any other questions or thoughts while using Midjourney, feel free to share them below. See you next time.